my goodness sakes. Top water, blow up. Bust out the big daddy here. It's be a great time to talk about this pole, huh? So this guy here. It's custom made. It was seven, I think seven four until I had a couple mishaps in the door. It's a very, very sore subject. From Cynic at Custom Rods. Hooked it up, man. This thing is light. You can feel every little thing that bumps it. I've caught one fish on it so far, and just a little dink, and as soon as that thing hit the water, I mean, you could just feel it all through the pole. But I've since put, I've had this thing probably Two weeks, three weeks maybe. And I've done crunched the eye off of it twice. So I'm picking up another one probably next week. A spinning rod. And um, I'm just gonna give this one back to him and have him cut it down to uh, probably about, probably end up being about seven foot. and uh, get it back to normal and I'm gonna try to keep it out of the door but I'm telling you this pole he told me he's like man once you use a custom built pole versus your little basic combo packages or whatever you get from Walmart or Kmart wherever Dick's You'll notice the difference, and he was right. I mean, like I said, I've only caught one fish on it, but I got a cheap reel that he sold me for like 15 bucks just so it'd match until I got one. And even with that, man, light ass boat. Um, I mean, it works great. I've never used one this long before, but I'm telling you, you can reach out and touch your target. These don't sound healthy. But yeah, had to check my man out over there. He's just getting started, doing great work. I got him doing two more rods, one for me that's going to match this, and then one for my wife exactly the way that she wanted it. The best part is, it's like, you know, certain, I'm kind of picky. Like, I'm either black, like black and red, I'm like an ugly stick kind of guy. I like black and red, and it's kind of black and red combos, collar combos. But uh -oh. with him, I was like, man, I reached out to him and I was like, can you do this and can you do that? And I was like, man, I'm a big WVU fan, die hard. Can you do this in WVU colors? He was like, dude, I got a pole that I was going to do a WVU pole, WVU themed pole for already. Let's do it. I mean, every eye is golden blue. It's got some silver accents in it. Um, I mean, I'm very impressed. I think it's like, I don't know, maybe it's third or fourth pole that he's done. I don't know how many he's really done, but totally worth it, man. Oh, it's 
figured something up out of there. But yeah. I would love to just see something bust this whopper plopper on this thing. Of course, I'd love to see a fish bust anything on any pole at this moment, but, you know. But yeah, man, check out my man. I'll post the link uh, in the bottom of the video. be a boring video if I don't catch any fish, but I mean, they're busting bait out here. I think the water temperature is only about 72, 73. Let's see if I can bust a little smallie here. Even with this little cheap ass reel, I mean, this pole, you can just reach out and get exactly where you want it. I don't know what kind of reel I'm gonna get that it's gonna go good with it, but I'm sure it won't matter. I mean, even with this tip that I put on myself, big hunk of glue on it. I can still feel, I mean, it's, I can feel everything. It's got custom grips on it, wind grips, dragon scale, I believe that's dragon wrap. Well, you can see that, but Tight little pole, man. I like it. It's my baby. When I smashed it in the corridor, I about cried, literally. I'll do it again Saturday. Saturday was kind of a karma. Um, I kind of deserved it, but I was getting ready to yell at a woman for putting her makeup on while driving. Didn't realize it was up in the window when I rolled it back up. You could look at that as karma, but to me, I was just trying to be like, hey, you're driving like shit. Quit. But yeah, check my man out. Tell him I sent you. He'll fix you up, whatever you want. If they don't got it, he'll order it. He jumped through hoops just for this little LDP fishing. You would, would not believe the hoops this guy jumped through just to get this little logo because I wanted it on my fishing pole, you know. I wanted it personalized, and he knew I wanted it personalized, and he went to like three or four different stores, and I finally ended up uh, calling around a bunch of different places and found a place over in Nitro, and they were able to uh, print us out a couple. He was on it, man. He went over there, and Got the stickers, put them on, epoxied it, and I had it in a couple days later. I mean, he sent me updates where he was at on the pole, whether it be an eye or just the hook keep. Or... So yeah, like I said, man, shout out to Chris, Syndicate Custom Rods. Again, I'll post the link down the bottom. Let's see if we can't pop something off here.